What's up guys, I'm D Thomas from NC, back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to map your wireless controllers with the Nintendo emulator on the HQ Megacade. Now this will apply to any machine from Extreme Home Arcades and this is for anyone who has no idea on how to map your wireless controllers. Now typically whenever you receive your machine, the Nintendo emulator will already come mapped to the joystick panel, but I want to show you guys how to utilize those wireless controllers. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so the Nintendo Entertainment System, one of the greatest consoles Nintendo has ever made. So you got your new Mega K. Let's go ahead and go inside Nintendo. So I am in here. Let's go ahead and boot this game up. Okay. So right now, none of the, it's not even mapped to the control panel. I'm gonna power on my 360 controller, and I have no controls. All right. So I'm gonna show you what you should do or what you have to do in order for you to get controls on your control panel and your wireless control. Check this out. The first thing you're gonna do, back out of that, okay? And you're gonna go down to settings. Where are settings? You're gonna to come to settings. That's your first step. Once you're inside the settings, you're gonna come right here to the configuration for the Nintendo. Now let's uh, bring this camera in a little closer so you guys can see. Okay, so you're on configurator for the NES emulator. All you're going to do is click on that and your screen is going to go black. What I'm going to do is minimize this a little bit. So your screen will be black. And if you scroll over here to the left, you can see that it says Nistopia, but there's not anything you can click on to show any kind of options. Don't panic. All you have to do is move the cursor in this black area right here and right click on the button, the three buttons up top. And just like that, these options will pop up. File, machine, net play, view, options, and help. You wanna go to options, left click on that, scroll down to input. And once you're in input, this is where you need to be to map your controller. Now let me adjust the camera real quick. All right, so got the camera adjusted. So we are going to use pad one. So I got my Xbox 360 controller here and you have pad one, pad two, pad three, pad four, so on and so forth. And right here where it says key, left, up, right, down, select, start, BA, that is what you're going to use to map your control. So. First things first, you see that it's already highlighted over here, up under mapping. You're gonna move the cursor down to set. And whenever you press set, you will see it says, press any key or joystick button. You have five seconds to do that, all right? So the first, we're gonna map the D-pad where it says left, all right? So what I'm gonna do is, you gotta, you're gonna hit the button, left click to press set. And when you press that, you're gonna press the corresponding key, left. So I'm gonna press that, and then I'm gonna press left. And you see it picked up on screen, all right? I'm gonna press set again, and I'm gonna press up. All right, gonna do the same thing for right. Gonna click on set, and I'm gonna press right on the D-pad. Click on set again, and press down on the D-pad. Now I wanna use select and start, I'm gonna press set, and I'm gonna press the back button right here. Gonna press set again, and I'm gonna press start. All right, now we have to do the buttons. Uh, if you've seen the Nintendo controller, if I'm not mistaken, it's B, A, uh, that's how it is on Nintendo, whereas on the Xbox controller, it's A and B. So I'm gonna use the green button to map B, and the red button is going to map A. So we're gonna click on set, and gonna press B. Set again for A. And if you want to use auto fire, you, A and B, you can. If you're not sure what auto fire is, let's just say if you have to press uh, B to punch, and every time you tap the button, he punches. Well, with auto fire, if you press and hold that button, he'll just punch continuously. 
So I'll set those buttons to X and then I'll press set again and press that to Y. Now when you're done mapping your controller, when you're done, you can just scroll over here and click on OK. All right. Let's just say if you wanted to map the joystick panel, we'll move on to pad two. And it already has controls in there, but I'm going to click on this and clear them all. And the same thing applies. It's already right here for the, uh, the keys. So when you click on map, you're just gonna click on set, and then you have that five second countdown. So I'm gonna be controlling uh, player number two. I'm gonna map with, with the player two joystick. So I'm gonna click on set, left on the joystick. Set, up on the joystick. Set, right on the joystick. Down, down on the joystick, All right? Now, let's see, I wanna select my buttons for select and start. Let me click on set. Oops, I hit the camera. <laughs> I'm gonna press the button for that. Click on set, press another button for that. Now let's do my A and B. Set, got that, and set. There's another button, okay. So when you're done mapping uh, your controls, all you have to do is hit okay. Now you may be wondering why does player two joystick says D, R, G, F, Q because the joystick is reading as if it's a keyboard. So what I'm gonna do is click on okay. And once you click on okay, let me back up a little bit. So once you click on okay, just scroll up and exit out of that. Player one start and player two start. You're gonna back out and you're gonna go back to Nintendo. So we're back at Nintendo and we're back on Shadow of the Ninja. Now you remember before when I tried to play Shadow of the Ninja, I didn't have any controls, I couldn't press start or anything. So let's go ahead and boot this game up. Okay. So now if I come here, I press start on the controller, you can see that I now have access to the game. So it says one player or two players. I'm gonna put it on two players, all right? And I guess player one is the guy, hold on, let me select what I want to play with. Player one is the guy, player two is the girl. So as you can see, I'm player one. All right, and remember I mapped player two with the joystick. So now, player two. See that? So now player two. Now I could have mapped this, I could have mapped this utilizing my second controller, but for purposes of the video, I wanted to show that you can map this to the controller and or the joystick panel. All right? So that's how you map your controllers. Map your controllers, map it to the joystick panel, and have a blast. It's pretty easy. Oh, I almost forgot. So remember, I was showing you guys the auto fire A and the auto fire B. So if I just tap A, every time I tap that, my guy is swinging his sword. But if I just press and hold the auto fire, he'll continue to swing like that. So I just wanted to show you guys, just in case you didn't know about the auto fire. Every time I tap, he'll swing his sword. Then I can just press and hold, and he'll continue to swing his sword like that. Okay? All right, guys. So there you have it. Mapping the wireless controllers with the Nintendo emulator on the HQ Mega K. See? It's not as hard as you think. Follow these steps and you will be A-OK. -okay. Anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoy this video, if it helped you out or will help you out in the near future, whenever you get your machine, show some love. Give this video a thumbs up and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.